Sorry. Hey. No, 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 no. He wanted that. Uh, no, he's not being busted. Yeah. It's no worries, man. Thanks for coming. All right. The dynamic duo from Yo. Emerald City, baby. We are here. Kick and Sparky. How you guys doing tonight? So, what is going on right now? Disorient. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, not being able to recover. But I mean, uh, about even percent with that little tiny one on top of Rosalina Luma. Yeah, it's not a, uh, not quite a zero to death, <laughs> but uh, it'll do. Ooh, using that four B to catch him while he's still hanging on to the, uh, hanging on to the ledge right there. That's a good call out. Like, uh, I do that with Bowser's forward smash from time to time, mm -hmm. and like, you get people used to it, and it's just kind of like that thing where, where I'm saying like, you keep them honest. It's like when you're covering, when you're holding on to the ledge, you got to think about the fact that you're holding on to the ledge. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, see, I, just like see we were saying before, this, yeah, that's uh, that side B is just excellent work for taking out stocks. It's huge, and that was like 82 percent, maybe bad DI. I didn't even. I don't. I don't think it was bad DI. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's just a kill so easily. I mean, being on that on the ledge of the stage like that, that momentum mm -hmm. is just going to take it out. Blade wise, going in deep there with that down air, trying to just finish things off. <laughs> He's, I mean, each player's usually trying to do that in general, but uh, I know Bladewise is, is more about the, the cautious, safer options. Mm -hmm. And so seeing him kind of go out uh, out of his way to get these kills. Oh, ooh, ooh, yeah, very, it. very pretty. Yeah. Um, it's interesting to see that his side beak. Oh, wow. wow. Was that, that back air? That, that was back air. <laughs> and that was definitely bad deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, like, uh, it was funny because, like, uh, Korn's side beat was actually getting rid of Luma um, when he did it in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you saw, but it sent Luma and uh, Rosalina in completely opposite directions. Splitting them up. Yeah. And because the backwards, uh, the backwards option for that is so quick and it covers everything and it's safe mostly that it's safe is that you can go straight into rosalina for b turn it around and come back out exactly. you've split them up and you have space to like go back in and that's space between rosalina and luma that like rosalina players really do not like having what a giant hitbox rosalina just had there to leave corn at 32. <laughs> yeah knocking luma off stage really early man that seemed that seemed a lot easier than it should have been but uh Way out there, I'm trying to read him with that forward smash. Yeah, <laughs> but got an excellent amount of like just fair strings just right there. Yeah, going back to middle stage, which is good. Uh, Corn players should know that taking middle stage is basically your best friend. Um, you can cover so much from middle stage as Corin, uh, just just by even doing a fox trot like that. That is maybe one of the scariest things. Uh, a Corrin fox trotting like Ooh. right at max range. I wonder how much matchup okay. experience Bladewise has against Corrin. Yeah. Ooh, nice mix up there. That was very cheeky. Using the Luma shot, yeah. Is that gonna get him? Oh, oh my, my goodness! Going in deep with that down air. Oh that's what he was trying to do last time, and this time it worked out for him. So that's. <laughs> That's excellent, dude. Log that away. Keep that in mind. You yeah. can come in right down on top of it. I mean, he still had his jump and his recovery enough to be able to do that. That's so smart. Sure. Oh. oh, man. He was looking for it again. Yeah, he was yeah. definitely looking for it again. Uh, if Corrin was going to opt to go low, he was just going to follow him all the way down there. Wow, juggling so quickly. Yeah, unfortunately, he lost Luma on that. So I think that, uh, personally, I think he should have taken stage and taken that kind of uh, positioning. But he's doing pretty good keeping him off stage. But it gets back. Luma's back. They're both doing pretty evenly right now. Ooh. Blade wise up. Forward smash. Oh, getting good. Forward smash. Excellent DI coming out. Just not enough to kill. Yeah, good charge on it too. Uh, oh. Okay, he needs to get this he right. He saved his jump. Very yeah, smart. Very smart. But I think that Korn really doesn't really have to worry about Luma at all. Not with all yeah. of the ability and the and the projectiles and the side beat. So as long as Korn's keeping that hitbox out there in front of him, mm -hmm. uh, he really doesn't need to worry about the Luma approach. He's got to worry about the Rosalina approach. Yeah. Ooh, you got to call her back. Call. Him. There you go. There you go. Nice juggle. Get uh, rid of that. Trying to get rid of him with the back air. Luma. <laughs> oh. Tense moment right there, but not really having an option. Yeah, being Blade on platform. Blade-wise kind of just backs off. Being on platform like that is so disadvantageous for uh, either player. Yeah. And he's just hopping right there behind him because. Uh, he knows that his options are to roll. He can't grab or do anything like that. Uh, so Corrin's options were to roll, uh, jump out of shield, 
or spot dodge. And all three of those are punishable if you're super patient. And because they had already turtled up, Corrin had already turtled up, Bladewise knows that he has the advantage right now. He can wait. He can make the decision. And very, very acutely, twice in a row, he just hops up and he checks him. And he's like, dude, you do not want to be on this platform. I am watching you so close. <laughs> you better make a decision and make yeah. one fast. He's but splitting up Luma again. I, I Bladewise needs to figure out a way to snag Luma when she's off over the edge. But... Not sure if Luma has, or sorry, Rosalina has a way. Oh, that. grabbing him out of the side. Yeah, jeez. Nice snagging that and gets Luma back at the same time. He wants his kill so bad. Get it. Get in there. <sighs> Getting grabbed. Unfortunately. Luma is very scary at this point in time. Yeah, I was with gonna such say high percent corns at. And wow, kill, that's gonna wipe uh, him right out. off the top side. Be such an excellent kill move. Oh my god. But honestly, there were there was actually a point where. Um, uh, Bladewise was on top of the platform and he went for a back air. If he went in for a little bit like closer, he probably would have executed that and gotten the kill and took the stock in the game. Mm -hmm. But uh, it just, does go just goes to show you that that spacing can be the difference between uh, the game entirely. Oh, absolutely. Spacing is incredibly important. Uh, like one of the rules I say about combat in general is that 99% of combat is knowing how to hit your opponent. Because if you can't do that, you're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, the 1% is... Is, an entire is everything else, yeah. yeah. Like, and, I, and that, and it's that's the one percent is so important because like the ninety nine percent, once you got it figured out, it's like mm -hmm. a yeah or nay. It's a difference between so, a kill or not. And yeah. That's that's why I always mention that when a, a player is off in the magnified zone, you get a couple added percentages just from being off stage like that. Mm -hmm. And that can, like you were saying, that can be the difference between a stock. Yeah, small percentage differences. Uh, I know this from competitive Pokemon as well. Is that like uh, you invest? Oh, yeah, that one HP. Yeah, baby. that one HP. <laughs> that's a huge thing. Yeah. That or in speed, like there's all that stuff that goes into it, but like one point can make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like coming in around two, they went back to battlefield, and it's fairly even. Ooh, Disorient's gotten uh, gotten Bladewise off stage right there and gets him with a four B snag. Bladewise having trouble getting back right yeah. now. Yeah. He really wants. Yeah, he's really trying to get in and grab center stage, especially against Corrin. I think that's a really good idea. Well, in general, I mean, center stage is where where you get all yeah. the control and the match basically goes to you. But yeah. and Disorient's just doing a lot of like a lot of rushing down and, and mm -hmm. just forcing himself on Rosalina Luma, just yeah. because that added pressure is going to be something that Bladewise has mm -hmm. to take into account. Yeah, being very. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very greedy with those four Bs, I have to say. He's using them a lot, mostly because I don't think Bladewise has a way to punish that. Yeah. Even even when it's on like unsafe and on what? shield. Yeah. No, Bladewise knows. Damn. Yeah. Very very. Uh... <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, honestly, Disorient has been working very hard.